Humans have been on this earth for about 300,000 years. I find it interesting that in these 300,000 years, our world is, well, perfect, because 300,000 years is a long time. But problems have been plaguing the earth since the beginning. It seems that now we could be closer than ever to making our world the best it could be. According to expert Michael Green, we are living in a world that is tantalizingly close to ensuring that no one need die of hunger, or malaria, or diarrhea. The question now is, how close are we? I'm talking about the UN Sustainable Development Goals, a set of goals the UN created that we want to reach by 2030. Now back to the question, how close are we to reaching these goals? Well, this is a tough question to answer, and for this question, the answer isn't that well defined. So to understand the answer, you have to understand what the goals are. The UN Sustainable Development Goals are 17 goals and 193 missions created by the UN that we want to reach by 2030. And it's not looking too good. To dig deeper into understanding the answer to this question, you have to understand how the progress is measured. In this case, use the Social Progress Index. The Social Progress Index is a tool that we use to measure the quality of life in different countries. The Social Progress Index has three categories. Human survival needs, foundations of well-being, and opportunities. This relates to the Sustainable Development Goals because in each of these three Social Progress Index categories, uh, the sustainability goals can fit in. Like how in basic human survival needs might come no hunger or clean water and sanitation. Now let's look at one goal in particular, clean water and sanitation or in this case, lack of it. In fact, 29% of the global population lack safely managed water drinking supplies and 61% are without safely managed sanitation services. This, these are some really big percentages and they're mostly caused by drought, war, basically any disasters in a country or region. As shown on the map, these lighter countries over here are really close to being water scars, most of them being in Central or Northern Africa or in Western, Central or Southern Asia. In fact, in 22 countries in these regions that I just listed, the water stress level is above 70%, indicating a strong possibility of future water scarcity. Water scarcity affects women and girls particularly because in 80% of households without access to water on their property or on premises, they are in charge of getting water for their families. This heavily interferes with their lives because then they have a less chance of getting an education in the future decent jobs. Some missions the UN has to bring clean water and sanitation to everyone are universal and equitable access to clean and affordable drinking water, access to adequate and equitable sanitation and hygiene services, and improve water quality by reducing pollution. The last goal I will talk about is poverty. It's most likely the biggest problem because, if, think about it, if there's no poverty in the world, then how many people could help with solving all, or achieving all the other goals? Living in, living in extreme poverty means all living on less than $1.90 a day, and 700 million people live in extreme poverty. This is a shrunken number. For years, the number has been shrinking. But when COVID-19 hit, what happened was 71 million people were pulled into extreme poverty. But I think that we can get back on track with this number because in 1990, the global poverty rate was 36%. This is a huge problem. So Millennium Development Goals were created. They were created, and one of the goals was to cut the global poverty line in half, making it 80%. We did not reach that goal by 2015. We exceeded it, making the global poverty rate 12% in 2015. And now, in 2022, the global poverty rate is 8%. But poverty doesn't just affect poorer countries. In fact, in 22 of the world's richest country, 30 million children have been displaced by poverty. The missions the UN has to reduce poverty all over the world are to eradicate extreme poverty all over the world, build resilience of those poor and vulnerable situation, ensure, I mean, install nationally appropriate social protection services for all, and ensure that all poor and vulnerable have equal rights to economic resources. To summarize, you have made decent progress in these goals that I have shown, and it's fair that in the past two years progress has been slowed down, but now there's no excuse. We need to act now, we need to act fast before our world goes up in smoke, quite literally. But don't worry, I didn't learn or understand all this information in five minutes. It was a long and terrifying research experience, and I learned that as a learner, I don't quit even through all the ups and downs. For more information, visit my blog by scanning the QR code. Thank you.